Doodlebud here. Thought I'd do a little at-home quick DIY project. Also a little bit of a money-saving tip. We're going to make a little pen wash today. I, uh, I'm pretty much out of it, so I thought I'm going to make some. Why not get it on tape real quick? Plus, good excuse to bust out my little El Cheapo pH meter. I'm actually curious what the pH of the pen wash is. Maybe someone else out there is. So let's get it started. This is a pretty easy thing to do at home. Only costs you a few bucks as well. First thing I recommend is distilled water. Oh, we got the ant for the French side out. So distilled water, but in case you were wondering, up here in Canada, everything's got to have English and also French on the other side. So you get to learn a little bit as you go. So instead of President's Choice, La Choix du Président, you can pick this up anywhere, Walmart, even I think dollar stores have that as well. So get yourself some of that. I recommend it over regular tap water for sure. We got some ammonia here. Now again, uh, they didn't have the regular clear. This is lemon flavored. I, <laughs> I should say scented. Don't drink it. So lemon scented. This really won't impact what we're doing. And in case you were curious about the French pronunciation, lemoniac. So uh, there you go. So that's really all your ingredients and a few drops of dish soap from home. Just something mild, nothing crazy. So that's the, the chemicals, if we should say. You got to measure it up. So a little uh, one of those dealies like I showed you and then put it into something. I like this nice little one liter bottle that I got kicking around. Use whatever you want to do. You can make a gallon of this stuff. You can make two liters, whatever you want to do. So uh, this can be quick and easy. Let's get it going. So the ratio we're going to be using is nine to one. So I'll put in 900 milliliters of the distilled water and then top it off to a full liter. So a hundred mils of the ammonia for the ounces people out there. Well, how many, what is it? 32 in a liter, something like that. Yeah. So uh, yeah, 32. So I'll do whatever, do 30 and three and you should be close enough. So to save you from boredom, I just poured everything in here. Actually, uh, I don't have it quite full because I have a little portable container. I'm going to take that to the office. So I took a little off the top, so I got some at my work if I need some pen wash there to wash the pen. So let's check the pH since we're here. I just I calibrated the probe, so we should be good. I checked it again. And if you remember from your chemistry class, if things are slippery, a little bit slippery, which it is, ammonia is, it's a base, so it should be basic. So it should be a pH above 7 somewhere. I don't think it's going to be crazy high. Let's give it a look. And what, what, 10 and a half, let's just call it that. So about a 10.5 pH. Now again, for as far as pens go, you're not gonna have a problem with uh, really modern day pens. There are some vintage pens you gotta be careful with. There's some even like, you know, you don't soak all your pens in water. There's some you will destroy if you do it. So same thing with pen wash. Uh, and also you wanna flush a pen out with water after you do the pen wash anyways. But support in container, let's flush a pen. While I'm at it and I got the gear out, I thought I would show you something for reference. So now we all think, you know, water is pH neutral. It's a pH of seven. When this distilled water is made, it will be a pH of seven, but then all of a sudden it gets introduced to the atmosphere and there's CO2. And so that's going to be very soluble in the water. And this will turn to a little bit acidic. Carbonic acid is what the uh, product will be. So it's going to start off about a eight something on the pH, but we'll give it time to settle. Now, again, that's a little tricky when you got something that's pH neutral. There's this ion exchange going on, but. Okay, so we sort of settled. It's a little bit inaccurate doing this type of reading, but you saw the pH of this and saw it at, you know, 10 and change, 10.4, 10.5. And maybe you thought, oh, that's aggressive. That's higher than seven. But to show you how weak of a base this is. I'm going to take one drop of the ammonia in the back here. I got my little dip pen and we'll put in one drop and we'll see the pH change here real quick. I'll swirl it around. We'll see what difference one little drop does in here. Okay. So we went from right around six to nine with one, maybe two drops of ammonia got in there and ammonia, the pH is like 11 or 11.5, something like that. So Yes, it's it's pretty safe. Having a pH of a little over 10, 10 and a half, it's a very weak base. So I'll go through a couple of ways you can use this stuff. Now, again, just to remind you, the recipe, so I got it all in my bottle here, was uh, nine parts distilled water, one part ammonia, and then just a few, I don't know, three or something like that drops of just some little dish soap as well. So the pen I'm going to use is this little Diplomat Arrow. Let's pop that out. So if you have an ink sometimes that's especially saturated, I find, especially lots of sheen, those inks can be troublesome to uh, to clean out. So, you know, you could do the old uh, bulb syringe method, right? You suck some in, put it in, and squirt out your ink. 
especially for ones that are really super saturated. The, another way you can use this stuff too, and why I, I in particular have the shot glass here is what you see in the background here. <laughs> Let me uh, put this away for a second. Okay, so if you got one of these ultrasonic cleaners, they're great for cleaning out, but you don't want to fill the whole thing with pen wash because then all that pen wash gets uh, ink on it and now it's kind of useless. So what you do is you uh, fill it up with some water first. All right, and then what you would do is take a little shot glass here. All right, and then you would, uh, now you just plunk your thing to be cleaned out in to the pen wash and you know you could put the converter in there to suck up some of the pen wash into there and then you hit your button and let it go okay so i finished tidying up off camera flushed everything with with regular water uh you know through the nib and, and section and all that and also into the converter as well you don't want to leave the pen flush in there you want to rinse it too now again most of the time that is not how i clean a pen you know, I'll just pop the converter on there, draw the converter up and down a few times, flush it out that way and call it a day. About 90, 95% of the time, that's all you need. If you got one of these handy, it does make life easier. Fill it full of water, pop it in there, blast it, and sometimes just one shot with a full bulb, that's all you need to do. But there are some times that you need a little more ammo. Now you can, if you're comfortable with it, you can pull the nib and feet out. Could probably do it one-handed here there we go done that a million times and that will definitely help if you can do that but i get it you might not feel comfortable or some pens the warranty's voided so you're not going to do that that's where getting some pen flush definitely comes in handy it can make a world of difference to get some of those inks out and those stains and then if it still needs even more you gotta level up that's where you can pop it into the ultrasonic if you want to learn more about those of course i did a video and of course I got all engineering sciencey on it too, so feel free to check that out. There'll be one of those things, and in the comments, uh, sorry, description down below, I'll have that. So I'll leave it there for now. I hope that helped. Saves you a few bucks. You can make some at home instead of just shipping water around that's got a little bit of stuff in it. That's you know, as always, love to hear from you in the comments. Hit likes and subscribes if you feel like it. Catch you next time.